Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Promo God's Underground Sound Off, powered by the New Worldwide Core Radio. This is Core Live, live in Columbus, Ohio, and you are on the Rush Hour Ride with Promo God. This show is sponsored by Gamba de Prince of Alma Rock Music Group. Today, we are going to, we have a special interview today with Reem. You can find him on Facebook at Kareem Abdullah. That's R-E-E-M. He is from the DMV area. We're going to hear from him in about five or ten minutes or so. So let's get the show started with Fire Nation, 144,000 Chosen Few GT Management, What's Good? This is the 2018 official theme song for Promo God's Underground Sound Off. It's a movie. Chris Green, I see you, Ryan Diggs. I see you, sweetie. I see you, so do thank for tuning in. Dion Price, I see you, sweetheart. Raw Talent DJ in the building, I see you, sweetie. Greetings to you as well, Dion. Thank you, sweetie. Alexis is in the building. Sin is in the building. I see you. Oh, he's going to be playing Pink Eye today. Yes, absolutely. Marisa, I see you, sweetheart. Thank you for tuning in. Akenyale is in the building. I see you. What's good, everybody from Sin? Tim Crockett, BBE in the building. What's good? I see you. That's right, Fire Nation. This is the 2018 theme song for Promo God's Underground Sound Off. Shout out to Fire Nation. All right, y'all, this next song coming on is Wody Hendrix, 218 ENT, 144,000 Chosen Few. He's available on all digital platforms. I am his personal promoter. Go check him out, y'all. Wody Hendrix, opposite of perfect. God bless to you as well, Kenny Lay, Brian Williams, I see you, sweetie. I told you I would make you my wife, but never did that. I cheated when you asked, I told you I never did. They separated, but top in, then came back. I got stupid, then God slipped, feels like I backtracked. Now I'm sitting looking stupid, I'm the one that did that. If you think about who I miss, baby, come back. And like the songs say, I was when I could see. And now you go, it's like I'm missing a part of me. I'm back and I'm back, now I'm Oh, no. And we killing us, it's like we pray on us My little homie chain, hell, we 
TC Fly is in the building. I see you. Shout out to Worldwide Core Radio Core Live Columbus. Y'all, this next song coming on is by Sin. He is 144,000 chosen few. HMD. He is also managed by Vega Dawn Protect Your Neck Records. Shout out to Wu Tang. I'm also his personal promoter. And this song is called I'm an Outlaw. said it i'm a reaper that's an outlaw that's right shout out to the midnight club reapers and the outlaw mcs promo god loves you and absolutely cherishes every single one of you you can find sin available on all digital platforms y'all go check him out Remus in the building. He just called in. I'm going to call him back in about three or four minutes. We're going to hear all about Reem in the DMV area. Ryan said he wants to know if you got clear eyes for that pink eye. <laughs> Reem says, good evening, everyone. You're actually going to get to hear his wonderful voice in just a few minutes. Lisa Johnson is in the building. I see you, sweetheart. Shout out Orlando Florida Ryan Diggs, always in the mix. We see you, sweetie. You're going to hear that song today as well, Ryan.
All right, y'all, this next song we have coming on is an exclusive. It is a world premiere of the new album, The Reinvention, it simulates a, a, the Black Knight. This is called Damn You, featuring Exec. King Darius is in the building. Shout out to Worldwide Core Radio, Core Live, the shop mix. I see you, sweetheart. Y'all, we got Reem on the phone. He is ready to do this interview. He is ready to tell you all about who he is. And we are excited to know, y'all. We are going to finish this song out. This is a world premiere of Kenya Lace, Fate, and Ebony Parker, a.k.a. Exotic. And this is called Damn You. Again, this is available on all digital platforms. Go check it out. Peace to you as well, King Darius. I see you, sweetheart. Born Lewis is in the building. I see you, sweetheart. Thank you for tuning in. I know how hard it is for you to tune in, sweetie, and I truly appreciate you. to a Kenya Lay Spade. Craig Laura is in the building. I see you, sweetie. Thank you for tuning in. Brand new exclusive world premiere, y'all. A Kenya Lay Spade. All right, y'all, we have an exclusive interview coming up right now with the one and only Reem. Y'all have heard that name on here for months now on Promo Gods Underground Sound Off because this man is diligent about sending his music in every week. He knows Promo God is going to play his music. So I want to go ahead and introduce Reem. Reem, that's R-E-E-M. He is in the DMV area. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing today? Thank you What's so up, much. everybody? 
Well, sweetie, I want you to go ahead and tell these people who you are, where you come from, and what it exactly it is that you do. Well, first of all, I'm an MC. You know, that's that's not in the game anymore. We lacking those now, you know what I mean? Everybody kind of got this new trap sound or whatever, which is cool, but they kind of, you know, got away from rapping, you know, real rap. So I just wanted to give it back to everybody. Let them, you know what I'm saying, let them know that B&B, we got some rappers down here. First of all, B&B, we a rough crowd over here. Like, I don't know. I know you said you don't follow mainstream, uh, you know, artists. Right. But um, we, a rough, we, we a real rough crowd over here, like, for real. We, um, But we got some people that's going to gonna come up. Wale, we have uh, Cutiful, also Shaq Lizzie. We, and, and next on the list will be Ring, you know what I mean? There um, it is. I don't know if you're familiar with go-go music, like with Chuck Brown, EU, but that's pretty much what we listen to over here. It's a whole different type of music, you know. We kind of got on late when it comes to the rap. <laughs> and I noticed when I came on to your show, you didn't know what the DMV was. You was like, it's it Denver, ah, it's D.C., Maryland, Virginia, all day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So my goal is to make sure nobody ever ever, ever not know who the DMV is. So that's my goal. I don't want to hear nobody else say, well, what's the DMV? Do you know what I mean? Right. And you put me, you put me on to it. You got me there. I, oh, absolutely. Yes, yes indeed. So yes, indeed. I I've been getting ready. I, 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 how? how did you, um, can you tell the people how you got involved in the music journey that you're on right now and about how long you've been, you know, Baby. Absolutely. Well, I've been I've been in the music for the long time since the, you know a little kid. Um, like I said, this crowd over here is mostly a go go city. You know what I mean? They're not really into the rap. I mean, they listen to the rap, but they kind of keep it behind closed doors. And the people that can truly rap kept it behind closed doors for years because it's not a rap city, and I'm one that's included. Um, I got I got a partner named Ray Mack. Me and him, we've been working real hard for like I want to say eighteen months. Something like that, and we and we both on the same page. And just the when you listen to this music that's on the radio now, and I was like, you know what? Man, let's put something out. You know what I mean? It was, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. It was kind of like just an on the fly thing. Like you know what? Let's put something out. Let's put something out, and let's see where it go. Absolutely, absolutely. I love your music. And speaking of your music, I appreciate we're, it. We're gonna go ahead and do your first track. And before I do that, is Aaliyah your daughter? That's my, that's my sister. Shakira is my daughter. Okay, well, Aaliyah is in here, so shout out to Aaliyah in the DMV saloon. Yeah, I see you, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen the last name yeah, and I said, oh, that's got to be some kind of a relative right there. <laughs> my, my, also, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think my lady, Jermaine Graham, she should be on this bill. What's up, baby? Well, I, you know, Facebook only lets me see so many people on here and some, you know, even if they're friends of mine, they don't let me see. But shout out to everybody that's in here supporting Reem right now. If you put a comment in here, I will shout your name out. Absolutely. I will make sure that I do that. But um, this first track is called Check. And I want you to tell the people how you came up with this song and what inspired you to, to make it in the first place. Um, first and foremost was the beat. You know what I mean? You you know, you're going through beats, and what's going to catch you was the beat. I mean, you can have as many raps written down as you want, but if the beat don't hit you, you can't do nothing to it. Um, and I just wanted to be kind of like less lyrical on there. Just wanted to keep a slow, kind of like down south type flow, even though I'm from the north. Mm -hmm. And um, it just talk to the people on this one. I didn't really want to rap too much on this. I wanted to slow it down. And um, it gives you an old school feel when you put that beat kick in, even if you're not into rap. You know what I mean? You can start nodding your head to it. This is something that somebody 70 years old can nod their head to it. Even if they don't like rap, they at least sing the hook. You yeah, know what I mean? That's a big reason that I like your music is because it does have the old school feel to it. So I kind of gravitate Appreciate toward it. that. Absolutely. So go ahead and introduce this track and we're going to go ahead and get into it. And then I'm going to bring you back on and we're going to talk some more. Coming up to is my first single off the Hidden Talent Project is Check, available to you everywhere. Target, Walmart, <laughs> all those things. Name it everywhere. Spotify, iTunes, everywhere. Check, coming to you. All right, here we go. I'm going to bring you back on as soon as the song is over, and then um, we're going to talk. 
talk some more. Get to know you a little bit better. All right, sweetie. Some of y'all have heard this song because this has been played on Promo God's Underground Sound off many times. It's one of the reasons that I love Ream. Keep sending your music in, sweetie. We know we love it. Diane Jackson is in here for Ream. Jermaine Robinson, we see you. Everybody that's in here for Ream, send up hashtag R-E-E-M. Let him know, y'all. said your ghost writer need a ghost writer that's right send up hashtag ream james west jr we see you sweetie samuel stevenson we see everybody miss young worldwide court radio everybody is in here today y'all to you as well edward lee i see you sweetie everybody make sure that you put a like or a heart on this comment on the um status today because i'm going to shout each and every one of you out at the end of the show shout out to reem you are so very welcome jermaine thank you That's right, Miss Young, hashtag Ream. That's right, Diane, hashtag Ream. Yes. You can't keep up with me. I'm winning the race anyway. Get out my face anyway. You a turtle to this dude. I win that race any day. I'm called Lewis when I do this. Way I do this shit the coolest. Look out. I zoom by like a Bugatti. Snatch a rap nigga song like I'm the king of the Illuminati. King of the Illuminati. Hey. That's right, hot bars on deck, y'all. Shout out to Ma Dukes from Jermaine Robinson. Again, y'all, that is Reem Check. We're going to bring him back on and get some more information about this wonderful man we have on here talking today all right sweetheart i want you to go ahead and tell these people we lo- i love that song i listen to it every day <laughs> whether it's on the if you ain't feeling that one if you ain't feeling that one you ain't human a lot of people like the next song that we're going to be playing and i'm going to tell you they be like oh yeah get the clear eyes here we go here we go how would i call on did you say i had it wrong I'm sorry. Yeah, Ryan is on the. He is on. Ryan is on here. No, Diane. That's Diane. Diane. That's my mother. That's her favorite song right there. Oh, that is so awesome. That's that's her favorite song. Like a lot of my other songs are a little too raunchy for her, so she can't get with them. She'll still <laughs> listen to it, but she can't. You know, I know she don't play them, but she plays that one to death, though. I love her for that one. 
I feel you. I feel you. So, sweetheart, I want you to tell these people, what is one thing that you want people to always remember about you and your music? Well, number one, that I made the music for me and my partner, me and my business partner. We didn't try to impress anybody else by doing another style or, you know what I mean, trying to emulate anybody. We stay true to what we believe in, and if we think it's hot, then it's hot. Right. You know, I want, I want, I want to say one thing, too, for all the, all the independent artists. Because one thing that I got a problem with is that we don't, um, we don't make songs together as independent artists. I don't hear a lot of people featuring each other. And I think behind closed doors, people think it's some type of competition thing. But we, it's called working together, you know what I mean? Like, I've asked people to, you know, may do features with me, and they may think I might try to show them up on the track or something like that. And I'm like, no, I'm bringing you on to be a feature. It's for you to shine. Right. And if you bring me on to be a feature on your show, I mean, on your song, I'm a, I'm a friend with it, you know what I mean? I'm not going to come on there and bring it weak. I'm going to, you know, if you put somebody on your song to feature on a song, and the song has the same energy as the beginning and it started, then it's a waste of time. So when you come on these songs as a feature, you're supposed to blow it up. I think we need to work together more as independent artists. Right. You would think that people would understand if somebody comes to you and they're already an artist or, you know, has a name out there for themselves and they're asking you, hey, I would like you to feature on one of my songs. You would think that they would understand that that artist thinks that you're hot and they want you on their track. Because who wants a whack rapper on their music? Nobody wants a whack rapper or a singer that sings off tune on their music. They want the best that they can get. And if that artist comes to you and says, hey, you the best. I want you featured on my song. Take that as an honor, y'all. Take that as a true honor that they really are feeling what you're doing. Absolutely, absolutely, and I, I want everybody, if they can hear me, um, after this Hidden Project Talent, I mean, Hidden Talent Project, I'm going to put out a collab, I want to collab with at least 12 people, so if you're interested, my email, abdulkareem702 at gmail.com, please hit me, or on Facebook, Kareem Abdul, just message me, and we can get it done. Absolutely. Well, sweetie, I want you to tell these people, what is one thing that you're truly proud of on your music journey so far? Whether it's an award, an event, an emotion, a person, what is one thing that you're truly proud of as of right now? The feedback from my peers. You know what I mean? When you're doing something with your peers, a lot of times they try to clown you. Oh, man, come on, man. How you going to be rattling? How you going to do this? You know, but not one. Everybody is on board. Everybody said you banging. Go for it. I got nothing but love. And if anybody is not showing me love, they're picking it real good because I've been getting love. All love. And I appreciate it. Absolutely. I see that you do get a lot of love from people. And that's it. Genuine love is hard to find from people. Genuine support because it's just, uh, it's, it feels like it's a rare thing nowadays. I love them back. That you know, a lot of times the people on your show. A lot of times the people. That's why I wish we can all collab. Yes. I'm over for that. I, I love the music that comes into the show. It's like a Christmas gift every day as soon as that email goes off. Like, oh, yes, another gift. <laughs> well, look, I'm glad you said that because I love Woody Hinges music. <laughs> I like Sam's music, so we're going to have to talk later on. Absolutely. Just send me a, because I was, when you said that you wanted to collab with some people, those are the first two people that I thought of, Sin and Wody. So I'm absolutely going to make sure that I. <laughs> Whoa, for real, for real. So is it true you don't you don't fool with any mainstream artists and and why not? If it is true, why why don't? Okay, I don't listen to mainstream now. I used to back in the eighties and early nineties. Okay, so okay. I, I'm um keen to Wu-Tang, the old Wu-Tang, not so much the new Wu-Tang, but, you know, I mean, they come and listen to the show, Buddha Monk, um, Judah Priest, Fire Nation, you know, all the affiliates. So I listen to mainstream from back in the day, Tupac, Biggie, what have you. But it to me, okay. mainstream seems right now that it's more about a show and not a story. I Absolutely. like to hear a story Absolutely. in the song. I like to be able to listen to something and get some kind of meaning out of it and not feel like I've lost brain cells and wasted my time. <laughs> Absolutely. 
so I don't really, I don't listen. So this, you know, this Takashi six nine or whoever, I don't really know that little Uzi Vert. That is not my, that is not my thing. I just, I cannot get into that type of music. I can't. It doesn't have any meaning to me. I respect that grind, though. I respect that grind. I respect everybody's grind. Yeah, I can get it. Selling that whatever kind of music you want to call it, then they can make money off of it. Hey, yes, that's them. You know, but um, like I said, we, there's another different, there's a different camp over here. We run a different show over here. Right. You want something you can really feel over here. I mean, if somebody were to send music in like that, I, I don't have a problem playing it. Because like I tell people, you know, even if Promo God doesn't like a song, that doesn't mean that 27 other thousand people aren't going to like it. They might like it where I don't. Absolutely. So I don't knock Absolutely. anybody's grind. Absolutely. I don't knock what they do. But I do not support and I will not support. And I had to make that very clear yesterday, the night before. I had some music that was sent in of the neo-Nazi type of music. And that's not something I can support. I can't support music that is... <sighs> Now, mind you, there is freaky music that's set in. You know, we're all human. We're grown. We're adults, most of us anyway. And that's just, you know, natural human nature. But when you're promoting hate and killing babies and raping women of the satanic nature and what have you, I, that's nothing that I can support. I don't feel comfortable putting that out there for people's ears, and I refuse to do it. I do have the right to refuse music, and that type of music I will absolutely refuse every single time time absolutely absolutely i'm glad i missed that show yeah that was yesterday i had to make well they didn't that's the reason i've had okay because you know my rule i don't listen to music new music until i play it first but when the name came through it the name was kind of weird and funky when it came through you feel me so usually when people send me their information that's why i ask for a facebook name i go quickly look at their facebook make sure you know check them out make sure they're okay but when i clicked on this link to go to this facebook page it was nothing but swastikas and just nothing but hate on there so i already knew so i went ahead and listened to the music and yeah so now i'm having to screen at least 20 seconds of the music before i play it because um no uh, that's i prom you ain't gonna slip one in on promo god not like that <laughs> yeah we got enough hate going on in the world as it is you know everybody just need to kick back relax and blaze on some of that pink eye and right just relax, you know? Absolutely. So I want you to tell the people. Well, I'm not looking at the screen right now because I'm trying to pay attention to you, but I'll go back in um, once Pink Eye comes on. I'm going to go back in and read these comments on here. I'm going to get Ryan. I see him. I see him over there. <laughs> So I want you to tell me, do you, what do you like best? Do you like being in the studio or do you like being on stage and why? So you've not performed anywhere before? I have you not performed with, with, with not music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got music. you. I got um, you. To all the artists, too. Don't be afraid to tell people that you're hot. If you're hot, say you're hot. You know what I mean? If your stuff is good, don't be afraid to admit it. But if your stuff is bad, be, be true to yourself, too. I'm not saying quit, but go back. Go back to the drawing board and redo it and come on back strong. Yeah, because I tell people all the time, you know, let people know in a um, in a positive way. Let them know that you are hot, but not conceited. Because I came across some stuff yesterday. I came, I, yeah, I came across some stuff yesterday where an artist felt like they were just too much to speak to somebody that was trying to communicate with them where the, you know like hey i really like your music i want to go buy it and they just ignored them like they were nothing and that's why i put a status up earlier every person you meet is a potential fan when you ignore that person Absolutely. and when you treat that person like they are less than you know anything that you're doing you are causing yourself to lose fans because their word of mouth is the most important 
Absolutely. And once and look, and once that word get out, you're done. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially if you're brand new starting out, you don't want any kind of negativity coming out about your name. Absolutely. I try to let the bars talk for me. That's why I'm trying to tell you how bars go next. Make sure y'all get that story, that check, ASAP. That's it's right. Just press the play button. And so we're going to go ahead and get into your next track. It's called Pink Eye. And I like this track, too. And oh, a yeah, lot I of got, people... I got, I, got, I got some of that. I got some of that in rotation over here. Hey, hey, hey. Well, we're getting ready to play it right now. So I want you to go <laughs> ahead and tell us about this song, why you wrote it. And then I want you to go ahead and introduce it so that people can hear it. Well, Pink Eye, uh, since I put Check Out, which was kind of a laid-back, you know, old-school type feel, I wanted to give them something a little bit more up-tempo. Um, something that people can relate to. I ain't want to be on the track like, everybody, that's no weed. So we just switched it up. You know, Pink Eye. Ryan, if you hear me, it's Pink Eye, brother. <laughs> He's um, in here. He's in here. Know, we, we kick it back with that Pink Eye. A little slick call for you and let everybody know, like, I'm here, you know? Not, not a local city thing, but just, you know, talk to slick. Let them know I got the miles warm. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Go ahead and introduce the song, and we're going to go ahead and let it roll. From the DMV, it's your boy Ring. We got the second single off the hidden side of the project. Pink Eye, let's get it. All right, y'all, you heard him. This is an exclusive on Promo Gods Underground Sound Off. Pay attention, y'all. Okay, sweetie, when the song is over, I'm going to bring you back in and ask you one more question and let you get all of your social, info, your social media information and all the shout-outs that you're going to give to anybody that you feel deserves them today. Hey, 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 h
I even fucking sign it for you. The God. greatest. I got some hot new designer for you. Yeah. The latest. I got some old school rhyming for you. The 80s. I got some hot one liners for you. It's crazy. You say it's all about the timing for you. We waiting. I got the whole Capitol Heights up in the G ride. I'm from the city where we don't let the fucking beef ride. I'm from the city where the motherfucking wig die. And everybody blowing good. We got the pink eye. Yeah. We got the pink eye. We got the pink eye. Again, y'all, this is the one and only Reem. In the DMV area, you can find him on Facebook at Kareem Abdullah. This is Pink Eye. I love this song. Well, Promo God would, but whatever. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. So I want you to go ahead and, well, what I want you to do is I want you to leave a message for the wonderful fans out here today. If, if they didn't get a chance to hear you from the rest of the year, I want you to tell them something inspirational from Reem today. Number one, don't ever let nobody tell you that you can't do it. And if they are telling you that, get away from them ASAP. Stay true to yourself. Don't tell everybody your moves. Just make them. You know what I mean? Action speaks louder than words, so just make them. You ain't got to tell everybody everything. And like I said, link up with me. Abdullah Kareem, 702 at gmail.com. Or you can hit me on the um, Facebook Messenger. I'm here for you. Let's go. I'm ready to work. Absolutely. So I want you to go ahead and tell these people all your social media information because I want them to have no excuses why they can't find you. Absolutely. Well, you got my Facebook information. My um, You can go on uh, what's that, Instagram as Ring, or you can put my email address in there. I'm, I'll pop up. You can DM me, get at me ASAP. Um, let me shout out first, please, the DMV and all my supporters, especially for me just starting out. I appreciate all the love I've been getting. Um, also, <laughs> also, my family, I'll be begging, just bugging the hell out of them, waking up at 3 in the morning like, Hey, I got it, I got it, I got it. My lady be looking at me like, dude, what the hell is your problem? I'm like, I got it, listen to this. You know what I mean? I, I be bugging the hell out of my family all the time. I, I'm sorry, <laughs> but thank you for everything, y'all. <laughs> I want to tell y'all thank you. Also, my brother Ray Mack, that, that's my partner. We put this thing together, me and him. We're not going to stop. I also want to thank Sticks, also Louie, and also Reggie for helping out the project. And definitely, also you, definitely you, promo God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. I truly appreciate that. Is there any more shout outs that you want to give? Hold on, hold on. Let me ask this. Let me ask this. Hold on. Did you give yourself that name or they gave it to you? I gotta know that. Did who did what? Did you give yourself that name, Pomo God, or did someone else give it to you? I have to know that. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. My original nickname is the Pimpstress. I run a um I have a company called The Women Who Love Black Men and that is on Facebook and that's who I am. So when I started in the music about 2012, 2013 or so, two wonderful gentlemen, one my, my very best friend, Gambit a Prince of Alma Rock Music Group, the one that sponsors this show, and Motivon Morris of SoundTube Nation, Gamba was running a show called The God Hour. And he, you know, I was promoting him and I was listening to his music and I just absolutely fell in love with everything that he was doing, you know, very positive energy. So him and Mo sitting live on air one day decided that that's what they would start calling me, Promo God, because I was promoting during the nice. God Hour. So that's been me nice. the whole time. <laughs> that's who I am. I am Promo God to most people, but to 161,000 other people, I'm just a pimpstress. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, look, you said it, I do. <laughs> right, absolutely. So that is the story of how I became Promo God. It is an honor to have that name because I love it. Um, I love it. I yeah. love it. You would kill me if you said that you gave yourself that name. No. I'm like, oh, no, I love it. I love it. Well it's well deserved. It's well deserved. You are a best I appreciate it. I appreciate it. 
thank you so much. Thank you so much. Keep banging out there. Keep banging them, putting them lips in here so I can listen to y'all, man. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Reach out to me, man. Let's do it. That's right. Do you have any more shout outs that you want to give today, sweetie? That's it. Shout out to, to the Lord above. Shout out to you, my fam. I know I'm, I know y'all gonna call me in a minute. You are so very welcome, and I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day for this interview. It has been enlightening, and I truly appreciate hearing your voice, just your regular voice, not just your rap voice. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Too. You have a blessed one. I'm getting ready to check out the feed right now. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. You have a great day today. All right, y'all, that was Reem. Again, shout out to him. Awesome musician. Go check him out. MC, go get at him, y'all. We're getting ready to get back into the music right now. And I'm going to catch up on all of these comments, y'all. I don't pay attention to the comments. You know, when I'm on the interview, it's all about the interview person because, you know, it's all about them. So right now we're going to get back into the music. Number seven is Heroes for Hire. This is Ray Riley and Trey Digga. And let's see what this name of the song is, because I can't. Are you okay, guys? Are you okay? OTA Funk. Oh, I'm dying. Is that funny? Now this is a story all about how they can't funk funk. Oh, Kareem, you are so welcome, sweetheart. Ryan said, great interview. We here for you. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah, he does keep people up. Right, I know that was the comment from that. <laughs> Hey, Jay Williams, I see you, sweetheart. PG Country Flow, hashtag Reem. There you go, y'all. Awesome support for Reem today. I truly appreciate every single person in here. Yes, Ryan, like Eminem tells stories in his raps back in the day. Absolutely. Philly Live is in the building. I see you, sweetheart. It's nothing but straight music all the way through the rest of the show, y'all. Here we go. Right, the Fresh Prince intro, Ryan. Elias says, thank you for giving indie artists the platform much needed. All oh, you are so welcome, sweetheart. Again, this is Heroes for Hire, Trey Digga and Ray Riley, OTA Funk. Miss Lika is in the building. I see you, sweetie. Why my son just bring a pizza up here and set it right under my face and knowing I can't eat it until I get off laws? Wow. So disrespectful, y'all. Mr. Frosty is in the building. I see you, sweetie. Yeah, I'm digging that. I like it. Shout out to the heroes for hire. All right, y'all, this next song coming on is an exclusive sent last night. This is by Sean Rock, and this is called Money Bag. This is the clean version.
Aaliyah, I would, but I don't want to sound crazy smacking it on, you know what I'm saying. I don't want to go out and hear me chewing. So disrespectful, Snoopy. Again, this is Sean Rock sent in by MJ Savino. And I don't know if the if it's a feature or it's his manager, Fly Thai Rock Boy Records. Edward Lee, you said it, it was catchy and has great energy, right? What kind of pizza? I don't even know. I don't know what kind it is, but it smells good. What is it? Pizza Hut? It's Pizza Hut, y'all. Shout out to Pizza Hut. Free promo. Just saying. I should get a free pizza for that. You said it would be funny to hear me chewing. Yeah, I chew with my mouth shut, but still, I'm messy when I chew. I mean, I'm messy when I eat. There's Sean Rock right now, y'all. The Phoenix is in the building. Shout out to the global family. Again, y'all, this is Sean Rock. This is called Moneybag. What's good, Phoenix? I see you, sweetheart. All right, y'all, we have a world premiere coming up right now by the one and only Dion Price. He is an R&B singer in Detroit, Michigan. This is off of his brand new album, The Heart of a Lion, available on all digital platforms. And this song is called Be Open. Oh, Ryan, thank you. It's available at midnight on all platforms. Hey, y'all, you're listening to a super exclusive world premiere. It's not even released yet. Shout out to Dion Price. Shout out to you, Dion. Oh my God, I truly appreciate you every single day.
Brock BZ Baby Bobby is in the building. I see you, sweetie. Shout out again to Dion Price, world premiere. All right, y'all, this next song coming on is by A. Jinx. A. Jinx is a hip-hop Christian artist. He said he wanted to get the message out in a different kind of way. This is called Try. Zozer is in the building. Shout out to Worldwide Core Radio CEO, owner, Alma Rock Music Group, Asor Zozer. Thank you, Miss Aaliyah. We appreciate that, sweetheart. Thank you. I see you, Sean Rock. Thank you, sweetheart. Gets to you as well, Zozer. I see you. So open up your wings, it's spread your wing. Cause if you try something now, you'll be surprised what it brings. Always try to move forward, even if like pulling you back. Throw away that old fitted and try a new hat. I hope these words into your heart like a box of thumbtack. I pray that again. This is A Jinx, it's A H underscore J I N X on Facebook. Go check them out, y'all. Yes, Edward Lee, very positive vibe. So how do you know you can't do it if you ain't never tried? How do you know you can't do it if you ain't never tried? That's right. Tim Crockett says he's at work listening. Thank you, sweetheart. Don't get in trouble. We don't want you to lose your job because of promo god. But I truly appreciate you. Thank you, sweetheart. Katasha Morris, I see you, sweetie. Zozer, I'm excited too, y'all. Core Live Radio is on the way. It's on the app right now. But we're still working on it. Give us a few days. It's going to be up and running, y'all. Core Live Radio. Hey, Katasha, I see you. Absolutely, Edward Truth. Again, y'all, that is A. Jinx. He is a hip-hop Christian artist, giving you a view from another side. Keep it positive, y'all. All All right, y'all, this next song coming on is by Miss Lika. She is in Detroit, Michigan. And this is called Lights Out. I 
topless, you can't see us. I will not let so be so big up. I don't roster, won't come down and put that on papa. Granddad, you know we have baggies. My eyes be so damn heavy. But when I'm broke, it's them damn levies. Then it's back to them damn reds, but I'm blowing on my own shit. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be that low or if it was a recording mistake. I don't know, y'all. We're about to find out. That was Miss Lika, Lights Out. This next song is a world premiere by Dizzy. He is in Detroit, Michigan, y'all. This is called Spaz on Dizzy. World premiere. Here we go, y'all. Again, shout out to Dizzy, Detroit, Michigan, stand up, spaz on Dizzy World Premiere. All right, y'all, this next song coming on is an exclusive. It's only played one time on Promo God's Underground Sound Off. This is Ron O'Neill of the Lower East Side of Brooklyn featuring SV Ski. This is called Kilo. Candace is in the building. I see you, Mama. Thank you for tuning in. Mason Wade, I see you, sweetie. Thank you for tuning in. Tim Crockett, I see you, sweetie. Mason, thumbs up to you as well, sweetheart. Carrington O'Neill is in the building. I see you, sweetie. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, riding on them like a damn track. Damn, 
Marissa is in the building. I see you, Miss MJ. I see you. Again, this is Ron O'Neill. You can find him on Facebook at Ron O'Neill Black Bottle Boys featuring SV Ski. Kilo. Jarrell is in the building. I see you, sweetheart. Salute to you as well, Marissa. I see you. Edward, you say you can ride to this? Ride to music? Yeah. This is definitely in my travel playlist. Ron O'Neill also has another song that is one of my absolute favorites. It's called Sprinkle. I'm going to put it in the playlist tomorrow because I love Sprinkle. Fuck a hater. Sprinkle on them hoes. Oh, yes. Promo God is a fan. All right, y'all, this next song coming on is Artist 2 Live, featuring 2 Live Boo Main, and this is called Sliding. I'm going home. You be there when I get there. Okay, no, that's not what this is. My bad, y'all. This is Blase, featuring Some Star Body. This is called Last Chance. You can find him on Facebook at Geo Williams. Killer Smurf is in the building. I see you, sweetheart. A Kenny Lay is in the building. I see you, sweetie. I don't know. This one sounds a little distorted. Edward Lee, you said yes, the Sprinkle song is fire. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I can relate to it so well. Again, you are listening to Blase, Gio Williams on Facebook. Featuring some star body. And this is called Last Chance. Tim, you said you got your hopes all up. Got your hopes up for what, sweetie? Please make sure you like, share, comment, and invite. Let people know that their music can also be heard here on Promo God's Underground Sound Off. Oh, that's okay, Tim. Artist is coming up next. Reem is back in the building. We had a wonderful interview with him today. Absolutely enjoyed interviewing you. All right, y'all. This next song coming on is 
artist, 2Live, and 2Live Boomain, and this is called That's How I Roll. Yeah. Here we go, y'all. Tim said we next artist two live and two live booming. Absolutely right here, right now. Yeah, I'm digging this. I like the feel of it. Smooth and easy. Yeah, I'm liking this one, Tim. I like this one. Salute to you as well, and you're very welcome, sweetheart. Keep sending y'all's music in. Zulu is in the building. Shout out to Worldwide Core Radio Core Live and Alma Rock Music Group. Zulu. Again, y'all, this is Artist 2 Live and 2 Live Boomain sliding. I like that one. Yeah. Promo God gives it two thumbs up. If I had four, I would do that, but I only have two. All right, y'all, this next song is by Bag Boys featuring The Rebel. This was sent in by Killa Smurf, and this is called That's How I Ride. Edward, you said you'd like that one. That was dope. Yeah. You're going to see the show announcements coming through right now. Go ahead and check them out. I put them in here because I know that I go through them quickly, but I want to make sure that you guys have all the information you need to have. The Gypsy is in the building. Shout out to Worldwide Core Radio Core Live Street Team. I see you, sweetheart. 
Lisa Johnson is back. I see you, sweetie. Thank you for sharing the live feed, Zulu. Promo God truly appreciates and loves you. Gypsy Soul Hugs. Hashtag Promo God. Gypsy Soulette Hugs. Diamond Warrior repping. Oh, I see you, sweetheart. Right, Ryan, because that you know that's another one of my favorite songs. That's how we roll. This one might go in there now, too. That's how we ride. Fire Nation is in the building. Shout out to 144,000 chosen few GT management. I see you. All right, y'all. We are getting ready to have show announcements. And this song that you are getting ready to hear is called Just Coolin' by Greg Holsey. This is a jazz track. Loyalty Entertainment Management, Glass Light Talent 414, The Real Empire, and Nocturnal Productions presents... The Midwest Takeover, Saturday, August 11, 2018 at the Bullfrog Bar and Grill, 15414 Telegraph Road, Redford Township, Michigan. Hosted by Big Dog Blast, Keela Cotton, a.k.a. Lady K, and DJ Bobby I. It is a $10 general admission and $15 to perform an eight-minute set. However, any artist who brings 10 or more supporters gets a 15-minute set. There are first, second, and third place prize packages. And as soon as the flyer is updated, I will make sure that you get all of that information as well. Special musical performances by Mac Nova, Chris Lenard, Nanlet Nache, King Renegade, Ando Anayan, and Henna C. For more information, please contact Miss Loyalty Prez on Facebook, Deborah Sue, or The Gemini Washington. If you would like to perform in Detroit this summer, I'm going to give you some information. I need you to pay attention. Worldwide Core Radio Core Live, Club Core Live, Nights on the River is a summer festival series every Friday, every Saturday, and some select dates in between. All you have to do to perform on the stage is call 754-888-2673. We are located at 6549 Grand River, Detroit, Michigan. And the next three shows coming up are this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 27th, 28th, and 29th. Go check it out, y'all. Club Core Live, again, located at 6549 Grand River, Detroit, Michigan. 754-888-2673 to perform, y'all. That's all you got to do to call. Call and get your slot. If you're interested in leasing the venue or hosting an event, doing a party, again, please call the number 754-888-2673. Where can you run your own radio show with syndication for $100 a month? Worldwide Core Radio Core Live. That's where we live, baby. Call 754-888-2673. That is the number for y'all to know. I want y'all to remember that number. I want you to memorize it. I want you to get it implanted into your brain cells. 754-888-2673. If you would like to send your music in, or you know somebody that would like to have their music featured on Promo God's Underground Sound Off, I am on Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All you have to do is submit an MP3 format and your Facebook name of the artist to promogod614 at gmail.com. Again, that's P-R-O-M-O-G-O-D 614 at gmail.com. All it costs is the time it takes you to send the email. And you too can have your music featured right here, y'all. Aaliyah wants everybody to know that she is thanking everybody and enjoy your evening. Thank you so much, Aaliyah. I appreciate you. Again, you are listening to Greg Holsey. This is a jazz track by the jazz man, Just Coolin'. 
Lori Moore, I see you. Rashonda Townsend, I see you. Cordell Riggins, Fire Nation. I'm going to go ahead and start shouting y'all out right now. Buddha Monk, Zulu, MJ Savino, Mason Wade, Katasha Morris, Zozer, Teresa Taylor, a.k.a. the Phoenix of the Global Family, Shakira, Blackie Rawl, Roly in Nigeria, Jay Williams, Miss Young, our Philly super supporter and street team, Miss Lady K, Keela Cotton, Darius Denson, which is King Darius of the Shop Mix, Worldwide Core Radio, Core Live, we live, baby. Lisa Johnson, Capital Cap, TC Fly, Gene Fields, he is also Worldwide Core Radio, Core Live right here in Columbus, Ohio, y'all. Alexis Sanchez, Akenyale Spate, Dion, Taylor, Dion Price, Miss Lika, Jermaine Robinson, Edward Lee, Diane Jackson, Aliyah Abdullah. Oh, I cannot pronounce that name. Bahim and Tony Bellamy. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Promo God truly appreciates you. It's been a wonderful interview today with Reem. Again, go check him out. He is in the DMV area. Um, his name on Facebook is Kareem Abdullah. I need you all to do three things for me today. I need you to inspire somebody, smile for somebody, and tell somebody that you love them because you may not have the opportunity to do tomorrow what you can do today and would not be ashamed. Shout out to Dreddy. I see you, sweetheart. So, I, again, you all have been listening to Promo God's Underground Sound Off, powered by the new Worldwide Core Radio, Core Live, live in Columbus, Ohio. You have been on the Rush Hour Ride with Promo God. This show is sponsored by Gambit, a prince of Alma Rock Music Group. And Promo God is the president of the division of Worldwide Core Radio's Core Live. Thank you for everything for everybody sending their music in, for everybody in here supporting and listening. Promo God truly appreciates you. And on behalf of all the artists and myself, we love you. Good night.